Welcome back again, people of YouTube land. Uh, thanks for tuning in this week. Uh, we're going to come to you doing a few tarantula feeding videos. Uh, AJ the Bearded Dragon. And I'm going to update you on the Oscar babies. So, uh, let's get to it. So, update on the Oscar babies. Um, a lot of them are still doing fairly well. Um, but, as you can see on the floor there, there is some dead ones now at this point. Now, it is fairly natural to have drop-offs and have babies die but I'm having a fairly large amount this time I did a water change earlier today so the nitrate levels and ammonia levels should be back down as normal but we're going to talk specifically about keeping Oscars today now I'm just going to show you just the size there so you can see right? these are not small fish you know these the two Oscars in this tank I've had them mm, two years and I got them as reasonably large adults they were about four or five inches when i first got them they're about eight or nine now now i'm also going to include my green terror in this because this also implies to any real large animal or large pet particularly fish that you get sold as small but there's my green terror his name is hulk now this applies to all of them a lot of pet shops will sell you these fish when they're very very small like as you can see with these babies they start off very very small you know again there's my finger there's a baby they're absolutely tiny when you buy these guys they might be you know one two maybe three centimeters long and in less than a year you're gonna have a very very big fish who is definitely gonna want to eat anything he can fit in his mouth I keep my Oscars in by themselves because of the fact that they're more, much more of a pet fish and they don't really like other fish. Now, I do have another Oscar who I will hopefully try and get a shot of. She spends all her time hiding in the corner of her tank. But I do keep her with other fish, but she's also blind in one eye, so she's much less destructive than these guys when placed in with other fish. But... It is my advice, anyone who wants to keep a nice pet fish like an Oscar, do your research. You know, th th they're not a small fish. You can't keep them in a small fish tank. They're going to really quickly outgrow their tanks. You know, this, this over here, this is a 56 litre tank. And you wouldn't keep one Oscar in here. Fully gone Oscar. You, you wouldn't happily have one in here. Let alone two like this, like down here. Now, my Green Terror, he's happy in there. He's not going to get any bigger. But I also have a flower horn up here. Now, if you turn around for me. Franklin. Who does not want to pose for you? But she is going to get much, much bigger again. And I can't keep her in a 56 liter when she gets bigger. It's okay for the moment, but I have plans. But when you buy or purchase any fish, any pet at all, plan for the future. Check and make sure you know what size these animals are going to get to. Make sure you're not stuck in six months' time trying to rehome an animal that you have no space for. Or that you're scared now to handle because it's gotten too big. Now, my Oscars are actually quite social, and I would show you, but they currently have babies, so I'm not going to go sticking my hand in there. But I will keep you updated on these guys, and let you know how the babies are doing. Like, as you can see from scanning around the tank there, there is some that aren't doing very well. It, it seems to be more the albino ones than the normal coloured, but you can see some of them swimming around in circles. Anyway, we'll get on to the feeding videos now. Mm -hmm. 